motivation, the rah-rah motivation. You've written 10 books, you're so busy. How do I get myself to that computer, sit down and, and I'm working on the first rep. So and many people out here might be doing the same thing or they're starting, they're in the middle. What's your advice? I, I need some goals. I think one of the best motivations is fear. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, if I miss this deadline, they're going to cancel my book. What about for those people that don't have deadlines? Right. Well, you have to have a deadline. I mean, I sort of, the thing is, there are, it's so easy to procrastinate, right? I mean, there's always something you can do. You can all, start working on your Facebook page or doing Twitter, right? Um, you can uh, start working on branding. You're going to be a branding expert. Listen, the branding seminar today is important and helpful, but you can't, if you've got nothing to brand, right? what good is it? You really have to write your books. So um, you have to, if you're, if you're a writer, if you decide to be a writer, it's got to be because you love writing. It's not going to be because you want to make money or be a bestseller or be famous, because writers really aren't famous anyway. There are easier ways of making money, frankly. Um, it's got to be because you really love writing. So when you sit down to write, you've got to say to yourself, you know what, I get to do this now. I have a lot of myself an hour every day. I get to just be in my own head. I get to do this thing. Um, I always feel, I always tell people, no one put a gun to my head to make me feel like you know, I just, I get to do it. And when I was starting out, I actually, the motivations shift. So when I was starting out, I wanted to be a writer. I wanted to make a living at it. I wanted to be a successful writer. And a lar large part of it, what powered me through the hassle of trying to get an agent and then being turned down by publishers and all that was this kind of this simple drive that, damn it, I, I don't care what they say, I want to succeed. Because, you know, the most successful writers are not the most talented, they're the most stubborn. <laughs> I honestly believe that. So that's what powered me through the early parts of my career. And then, once I actually started, you know, once I was a bestseller, that's in many ways very intimidating. Because then all of a sudden, all these people are watching you, and there's all these expectations. When is the new book coming out, right? <laughs> oh, it's going to be as good as the last one, right? That can completely paralyze you. I had to realize at one point, you know that expression that a great poem is never finished, it's merely abandoned? I mean, basically, I had to, you have to give it up at some point, give up the book at some point and say, all right, I could make this better if I spent another year on it, but I'm going to look at this instead as a portrait of where I was in my writing career at that point. Yes, it could be better, sure. It's going to be, this is the best I could do at that point given the, the strictures, given the limitations.